Are you a pharmacy student who wants to learn how to study drugs in a simple and easy way? In this video, I teach you how to use medication charts to study drugs. Stay to the end where I share the most important step. Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Jessica Louie and I'm a board certified critical care pharmacist, associate professor, and entrepreneur. I love helping people find meaning beyond burnout. On this channel, I talk about passive income and simplifying to combat feelings of burnout and stress in your life. I also share openly about my burnout story and how we paid off massive student loan debt. Make sure to watch those videos as well. This video is my personal opinion. I've been in the healthcare field for over 15 years, and the most common question I get from healthcare students is, how do I study all the medications? There's so many to learn. Today, I'm answering this question from my years of experience. After studying it for my doctor of pharmacy degree, my PharmD, and graduated in 2013, serving as a pharmacy mentor, pharmacy preceptor, and now as an associate professor at a school of pharmacy. Whether you're a pharmacy student or in another healthcare program, my goal is to help instill confidence in how you learn and communicate drug information to other healthcare professionals and the public. If you're also looking for study resources of how to stay focused while you're studying, how to study for your board exams in pharmacy, and how to apply to residency programs, make sure to watch those videos and get your resources linked below on our Find Your Script shop. Step one in setting up your medication charts to study drugs, pick the topic. When we're picking the topic, we want to narrow it down so we're not too broad. So we don't want to have a medication chart that's all of infectious disease. We can narrow that down into one specific disease state, such as pneumonia and even further into community-acquired pneumonia or urinary tract infections, um, things like that, so that it's a topic that is easy and simple to start creating. Step two, gather all the medications you've learned about this topic. Now, you may have learned it in your classroom setting. You may have learned it through our guidelines that are published and updated every five to 10 years. So you can go to your resources and see what drugs are approved, FDA approved, or used off-label for this topic and start gathering all that information. Step three, divide the medications into drug classes. This is usually related to the mechanism of action of the medication so that you can start grouping them like items together when you're looking at each of the drugs. Step four, create categories within the drug class and see what is similar to one another, whether it's the mechanism of action that's similar within that category, or it's the indication, or it's the side effects, or it's the adverse reactions that are all similar within that category within the drug class. Step five, now that you have all the medications, you've seen it, the drug class, the mechanism of action, see what's similar, so listing out each medication through your table and chart. Step six, start filling in your medication chart and creating the columns within the chart. I highly recommend you start with generic name, then brand name, then mechanism of action, dosing, and then you can get into pharmacokinetics, pharmacodynamics of the drug, and then you can get into side effects, adverse drug reactions, black box warnings, and then finally clinical pearls. And set this up that it works best for you. I highly recommend it's bullet points and concise and to the point. Step seven, color code the chart. I highly recommend color coding so that it's easy to read. I was a student that really disliked studying from white paper and all of these white and black and white handouts. So I really like to use color to liven it up and just have a more calming feeling that I was studying from something that was easy to read and was less pages than a really long PowerPoint. Step eight, print off your medication chart or save it electronically to start studying each and every day. Now, what is the most important step when you're using medication charts to study your drugs? I think the most important step is to make sure that you're using it effectively and consistently. So one way you can start doing this is to start studying the medication chart, and then when you feel comfortable in a few days, you can print out the medication chart with some of the rows or the columns blank, and then you can start filling in this blank chart to see what you remember. The final step is teaching someone else the medication chart and the topic, whether you're teaching a classmate and you're writing something on a whiteboard and having them follow along and ask questions, or whether you're even teaching your dog or a family member who can ask a couple simple questions can be really helpful because once we have mastered the information, the best way to make sure we've mastered it is by teaching it. And then when we're teaching it, we'll see where there's some gaps in our learning and we can go back and fill in those gaps. This is also a great time to assess your pronunciation of the drugs while you're teaching someone else them because you're going to be verbally saving them out loud. And anytime you have 
a problem with pronouncing the medication name, you can go back to one of our drug resources like Lexicomp and push the oral icon so that you can hear how the drug is pronounced. I know that some people have also benefited from creating flashcards from the medication charts. So you can create flashcards and take them on the go with you with pen and paper. You can take those on the go or you can create them in some type of digital format, digital app, and then take those flashcards on the go with you while you're waiting in line for something and just testing your knowledge or on your commute in a train and testing your knowledge as well. Do you want to jumpstart your knowledge with medication charts? Please visit our Finder Script shop for ready-to-go charts, templates, and resources to get started today. Make sure you're taking action. Until next time, cultivate joy.